Hi there, this is April Lee with Hope, Faith, and Thriving. Um, I wanted to make a video. Um, I'm gonna make myself something to eat for some energy. But I wanted to make a video really quick um, when I'm vulnerable. And right now, I'm very vulnerable. I am frustrated, I'm tired of pacing, I'm tired of being sick and tired, I'm done. <laughs> but I know that it's not going anywhere. So I just wanna talk about um, what I did today. And then it's so crazy because when you <clears throat> have chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia and, and all these things that make you ridiculously exhausted from absolutely nothing, um, <clears throat> on the days that you like are really the worst, give me one second, I'm gonna make some noise here. And you're wondering like, you know, why am I so tired I barely did anything? And I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, what the heck did I do today? Why am I so tired? So, um, you know, I did stuff, but you know, the average person would not be this exhausted from the stuff I did. <clears throat> so um, I get up at like about 6.20, I get my kids ready for school and um, they're, you know, preteen and a teenager, so it's not so bad. It's just, you know, going back from room to room, making sure they get out of bed, getting them breakfast, getting them, you know, ready and in the car and all that. I get them to school. I went, by 8 o'clock, I'm, I'm at the um, doctor's clinic or whatever, getting my B12 shot. Then I had to go to um, the salon uh wholesale store to get what I need for work on Saturday and I wasn't there very long got a few things and then went to um, Walmart and a small Walmart normally I do not go food shopping and this is probably what made me extra tired and if you do not live with illness you will think this is completely stupid but um, I ran through the store you know I went through like pretty much the whole thing if you've ever been into like a Walmart neighborhood market it's like you know like I think about the size of a Publix, which sounds so stupid that it would make you this tired. So as I'm shopping um, halfway through, I realize why I never really go food shopping like every week. Um, my body is starting to like hurt and I'm getting like worn out and um, just kind of like achy, I'm getting pain on my legs from literally walking through a food store. Um, so I ordered what I needed to order or got in my cart, whatever. And I go up and there's no one to check you out. <laughs> it's self-checkout and normally I'm like, oh, that'd be great. But I'm like literally starting to hurt everywhere and I'm thinking of all the days. So I asked the lady and I said, is there anyone to check you out? And she said, no, um, you'll, you know, she's just standing there. You have to use this, whatever. So I did my self-checkout. And, um, you know, I, I do what I gotta do because it's gotta get done. So I get my um, my food in the car, get everything rang, rang up and get my food in the car. And then I go home and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna push through. My body is saying, lay down and go to sleep. It is ridiculous. I slept not great. I never do, um, no matter what I do, because of the illnesses that I have. And if you have these, you'll understand what I mean by not sleeping well. Um, you never sleep all the way through and you, you wake up feeling unrested and usually very stiff, like you worked out. And so of course I wake up like that. So I'm so used to that. But anyway, I get home, I unload everything and I decide, okay, let me, you know, put my earbuds in, take my dog for a walk both dogs I take them for about it's like a mile it's like a, almost a mile and a quarter and I um, got through that got them back and then um, I made sure like I unloaded all my dishes um, cleaned my kitchen got everything in order there I ate some breakfast and did a little bit of laundry and I made three beds and I ran a vacuum cleaner I didn't even use it I just it's the I call it a robot, I ran that. And then I um, did some picking up in the rooms and organizing a little bit. And then it was about 
12.30 and I'm like starting to get sore and there's so much I want to do. I want to color my hair. I want to dust and mop and clean the bathrooms and all the stuff I want to do. And I just can't do it. I'm so exhausted. So I decided, all right, let me lay down for an hour and I'm drinking some coffee. Um, I'm not on here to get a pity party. I'm just kind of, or, or even like advice on energy because it's not going to work. <laughs> um, I've done it all. And, um, but I'm under the care of amazing doctors and, you know, the only thing I could do is pace and, um, I do all the vitamins, all the, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff for energy. And sometimes my body is just going to be what it's going to be. And I am depleted of energy and, um, you know, I start, it's just, you just get so tired. Like I don't think straight or whatever. And so I get my kids, I'm going to leave in a little bit, um, pick them up. I drive up and I park in this area and then they walk from the school to the car and I'll get them home and I have a lot to do. So usually by the time I get them home, it's about 3.30 and they go to bed about 9.30. So that's like another half a day in itself. And um, I love that time of day because I get to see how their day went and go through their stuff and just make sure they, you know, had a successful day how, you know, kind of make sure um, everything went well and get to spend time with them. Um, and of course there's dinner and, you know, we're picking up whatever is getting messy at the time. And then um, getting my daughter to dance, I drive her to dance. She dances for, um, for anywhere from an hour to two hours. So I usually drive and sometimes I'll wait and sometimes I drive back, do some things and then I go back and get her and by the time the nighttime comes, I am just, um, sometimes I get this, um, burst of like mental energy, but the physical energy is done. And these are the days that you can tell, look at me. I look really stinking sick and tired and I don't like these days. And a lot of the times that you see me, I'm like full of all this information and, um, you know, all these tips and tricks and so on, and I have them all, and, you know, joy and all that, and I'm happy, but I'm very exhausted, and today, I'm just, um, I'm not thrilled, because these are the days that I had, these were my strongest days, what the way I am right now was, like, at my best, so I look at that, and I'm like, okay, thank God, but then sometimes I get to these places, and where I'm at, where I am at, like, this state right now and if I don't pace or you know do everything just so will I get back to that state I was in before where you can see like where I am now that door it took me 20 minutes 20 minutes to get to that that door so um this is coming from a person that I used to work uh I'm still work. I'm a hairdresser and I zipped around the salon and I had double booked. I had, you know, a client processing and then I take care of the other one and, um, you know, give them all my mental and physical energy and all of my, you know, um, skill and everything. And I'd be able to work out before I went to work and do like a super long day and go walk my dog and hang out with my husband and, sleep and feel right and good and and be fine and that life is gone so it's really hard it really is and you know if you deal with illness um and you are someone that you know you first get sick and all you want to do is cure it and you spend all that energy saying, you know, I'm going to beat this and fight this and cure this and heal this. And this is going to be past and in the past and beyond me. And that's where it's going to be. And I'm going to overcome it. And, um, you know, with these illnesses that are not curable and not, they're treatable in the sense of you can, um, like I used to be stuck in bed and really, really, really ill. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent like I was, I'm just not. And it's so much work. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of shots. It's a lot of medicine. Um, not necessarily prescription drugs, but it is a lot of like supplements and 
diet and effort and thought and strategies and skills and like it is so much just to like be part of who you were um so this is a reality it's like really really hard it really is and um i'm just being vulnerable and showing you what it can be like and um you know if you know anyone who says they have even one thing i've got like so many things that they say they have just fibromyalgia alone or whatever it is um just know that you may never understand them but they um they don't have it easy they just don't and none of us do and you know in general but um adding on this um this kind of way of living to life um being you know not, life is hard um you know, I'm strong in my faith and I love God so much. And, um, without it, like if I was the old me, like me and I would not be, um, anything that I am right now. I'd be totally negative and totally depressed and, um, probably a mental mess, seriously. Um, but I'm just being really real and raw because, um, you know, I have this channel to support everything about all this stuff, and this is part of all this stuff. So, anyway, I made myself a very healthy omelet with a little feta cheese. I'm gluten-free um, and dairy-free in the sense of, like, um, I only do lactose-free milk, and I do feta cheese. And I added some spinach in there and organic eggs. And I'm hoping to get a little boost of energy with my coffee. And really enjoy the rest of the day. My husband, you know, when we used to talk about spoons more often, he'd say, you know, save me a spoon. <laughs> because, um, you know, I want to have energy and be like the awesome wife and the friend and all that. That um, I want to be. And it's just not not that easy all the time so anyway this is it this is what it's like sometimes so god bless you all and i will see you in a more happy video